What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out some of the best features with Android 14. So I think this was just released, um, I think today. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So one of the first things I always check, and I thought this was probably the coolest one, is you're going to go to About Phone, and then we're going to go to Android 14, click on Android 14, and when you hold this now, your phone starts to vibrate. And then it goes into like a little mini game, like a little like spaceship game or something, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. So I don't know. I thought it was really cool, actually. It's a pretty cool feature now. There's a new way to copy and paste. So we're just going to highlight and then we're going to hold. And I think this is pretty useful for like the text messaging app and stuff like that. And you just put it right here like that. And then it just pasted it right there. Um, I guess this is kind of faster i'm not really sure <laughs> like because is that really faster than just the normal copy and paste it might be the copy and paste and then come in here yeah yeah that is that is actually a, actually a little bit faster right because then you would have to double tap so yeah that is technically faster so that's a pretty cool way of doing the copy and paste now this also does work for pictures as well so you can do the same way drag it send it like that so i think it's pretty cool all right so next is one of the coolest things that's going to pop out to a lot of people it's kind of the same thing that samsung did um but if you hold down now you have a customized lock screen and it's done in a very nice way you have a bunch of different clocks um you know styles on here now so you can sort of make the phone look how you want it to i really like uh this one right here and you can also get to the home screen uh from right here as well too you can mess with the color as well you can also mess with the overall size. You can go small, dynamic, pretty cool, wallpapers. And then you also have a shortcut right here as well. I put the mute button down here, but you have QR code, wallet, flashlight, and then your right shortcut on here. We'll just put the camera on here. And then you have a more lock screen options as well too. So we can go in and you know just play with these uh, if we want to and sort of customize it the way you want, but very, very cool. So as you can see, you just have more customization uh, with the lock screen and much easier now uh, to access. But this clock is just, I really like how this looks. All right, so the next one is something that I don't think is, uh, I think it's new to the Pixels, but it's not new to Android. Like I think Samsung does it, uh, the iPhone does it. So go into settings and accessibility, and then you have a new option right here called i feel like i just passed it uh where is it at it's called flash notifications right here guys click on that and essentially what it does is if you get a um you know notification it'll flash and then you also have one for screen yellow your screen will do that um you know it could be useful if you feel like you need something like a for it i it's pretty much for people who I think have their phones like down like that so when you get a notification it'll light up so I guess it's kind of useful uh, for that another thing that I noticed in the toggles so if you go to toggles hit the edit button and then you go down you'll see font size now um, this is new I'm pretty sure and if you click on it now it'll just increase the font without going to the settings so you kind of have it as a toggle for if you need to increase the font and then you can just change it back really quickly um, I thought that was pretty useful. So you can see it's much bigger now. All right, so one of the last ones is, and this was also on Samsung, but it's in developer options. If you don't have developer options, you just go into about phone and then you go to your build number and then you just tap it uh, like seven, eight times and then you will have it. So then after that, you go into developer options and then we're gonna type uh, predictive, predictive, back animations and it's pretty much the same thing that we saw with one ui 6 and it basically just gives you a preview of what you're going back to as you can see so i really like this i love to keep this on i'm glad that it's an android so it's, it was probably just a standard android feature i don't think it was a one ui feature but it's pretty cool so even if you let's see No, it only works in phone. Yeah, it doesn't work in like that and this. Hold on. Eh, 
It looks like it only works in like the. Hmm. It looks like it only works in the settings. Yeah, it only works in the settings. I guess can't do it in like the standard application. Maybe they'll update it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So be sure to let me know what you guys thought, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.